Maisha yangu ya sasa hivi ni tofauti na maisha ya bibi zangu. Vile vile kichaka vijaka vilikuwa vizuri sana. Hakujafekwa, yani kwa hiyo msitu zilikuwa nzuri, wanyamapori walikuwa wanaishi vizuri, hakuna kilicho wafuruga. Jina naitwa Nema. Once all of our ancestors were of nomadic origin. Today's pastoralists are humanity's link to this common past, but their future is more uncertain than ever. Pressure is mounting from all sides. We will now follow two young individuals in Kenya and Tanzania, witnessing radical changes in their landscapes and livelihoods, while also learning about participatory rangeland management, a new approach that has helped their communities better prepare for environmental changes by securing and improving their lands. Majina naitwa Kipchumba. Sasa kwa kwa sisi kwa mimi sasa vile sasa unajua hii sasa hii ni tegemeo letu na hii rasmali yeye kwa sisi. Wanyama kwa sisi ni rasmali kwetu. In these times when we are faced with mass extinction, a climate crisis and the accelerated loss of soils that anchor all terrestrial life. Pastoralist societies are among those threatened most. How can pastoral communities be strengthened and rangelands be restored? The places these crucial stewards have called home for millennia. shrubs and trees make the rangelands which evolved into unique ecosystems over time eventually becoming shaped and maintained by pastoralists like Kichumba his quest to care for his land can help us understand more about how to keep the balance between humans and the natural world Nilisaliwa baada hii sasa siku hiyo. Na na mpaka saa hii vile 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 ulikuwa mbeleni ilikuwa namna hii. Awe sabega kuya katulgo yue. Wewe sara la ngatia bonja ngachangin mesingo la ngoma ngat. Aini. Ni kwa ngina ana. Kwa mache sati ya wote punye. Wore kwa sita ni nyana ate ko magoma che wanga tweti chacha. Centuries-old indigenous knowledge holds the secrets of how to maintain and respect nature's regenerative cycles, preventing the land from being overgrazed and keeping rangelands intact. Today, with population pressure mounting, demands on land intensifying, and the world's remaining rangelands under immense threat, the future of pastoral communities and their invaluable wisdom of how to sustainably manage these landscapes are at risk of being forever lost. More than 500 kilometers away, in neighboring Tanzania, the young Maasai pastoralist Nima is herding cattle from the Olengapa shared grazing lands. Just like Kichumba, she's curious to learn from her elders. She turns to Maria Edward, who lived all her life in Ngongengare, a small village community surrounded at this time of year by a seemingly never-ending landscape of green. With cities and industries consuming more and more land, monoculture farming expanding, and human populations still increasing, space for rangelands and biodiversity is shrinking dramatically. Nima sees the passage of time in a new way through the memories of the village chief, Baraka. 
tofauti ni ipi tangu utotoni kwako mpaka sasa hivi umefikia umri wa uzee nilikuwa msee sasa hivi wewe ukiona watoto wangu ambao ilikuwa ikitesa namna ile najua ile masingera kwamba sio nzuri muda ule ya, ya watoto wangu ilikuwa ni mvua na nyesha mara kwa mara hakuna miaka ya kiangasi mrefu kama ilivyokuwa sasa hivi ni changamoto gani unaoona kubwa sana katika jamii changamoto kubwa ambayo ilikuwa inakutana na wafugaji haswa kabila ya ya, ya, ya kimasai ambayo ni kabila chetu changamoto kubwa ni haya ni hawa wakulima ambao naelima maeneo ya mfugo when the protective vegetative cover of the earth is removed water cycles are disrupted soil moisture evaporates and fertility is lost in consequence come droughts caused in large part by man and if the rains return they quickly turn into flash floods since a closed vegetative cover is no longer there to shield or root these soils the most fertile top layer is washed away causing entire lakes to silt up and spill over With ecological systems on the brink of collapse, human conflicts are a predictable consequence. Reports indicate that the warring communities from Baringo North, Baringo South and TRT constituencies are fighting over pasture that is found in The conflict Colorado. is threatening to escalate with area leaders calling on the government to deploy more security personnel amid fears of retaliatory attacks. Siku hiyo wasee walikuwa na siku hiyo wasee walikuwa ndio wanasema na, na, na chief ndio walikuwa na ndio walikuwa na walikuwa na walikuwa na sumsia kuhusu maneno ya nyasi lakini inasemwa tu sasa msiguse huko nyasi lakini hakuna mwenye anashughulika hakuna mwenye hiyo hiyo itaenda kama mpaka wiki moja ndio hiyo ripoti isikike na huyo jamaa amekula amemaliza amearibu imesharibu nyasi Kichumba sees the need for improved governance and landscape management in areas where traditional methods have gone away. He investigates how productivity can be improved and joins a group of like-minded people traveling to a place nearby. I want to ask you about this preparing of your, of your farm. Gea pale na leta samati ya ngombe. Samati kwa sababu inamepanga mawe. Samati hiyo machi na wacha samati hapa. Nilianza ya kwanza ilikuwa mbogani kabisa. Ilikuwa kuna kitu. I will get nothing from this land if I turn uh, I do I don't do anything. If you fairness, you protect the area. Hii mbegu ni mali. Unaona? I am cutting my pastures, grinding it, uh, put it on my store and then use it during the dry season. We now know that even in this trial land area, stone area, you can do something and you get something better than what you are getting there. Kichumba returns home, convinced that improvements to the land are possible if time and resources are invested. However, how can this happen in his home community, where land is managed not individually but collectively? Lodric Mika works for the Tanzania Natural Resource Forum, or TNRF, which supports local communities in Tanzania to help secure their land rights and fair access to natural resources. Today he meets Nima's husband, Simon. Together, they will place a boundary post to demarcate one part of the shared grazing area of Olengapa, an area that TNRF helped four villagers secure. Bwana Simon. Habari siku nyingi ndugu wangu. Njema tu vipi ese? Safi safi kabisa bana kisho. Ah njema tu. Habari lengapa bana. Safi zaharu. Ndugu mwema. Ah kwa sana. Ndio ndio. Kabisa ni chema. Hana tatizo ese. Ndio wapi hii? Ni bwana ukija huko bwana kwenu huko maeneo ya lengapa. Ndio. Baada ya kufanya vipimo vyote kuna biko nilikosekana. Ndio. Sasa nikamoja nipime huko tena nichukue zile coordinate. Ndio sasa kuja kuchimbia ile jiwe ile biko nile. Na nikamwambia bwana Simon umejifunza mambo ya GPS. Karibu. Ni hapo chini tu hapo. Yeah yeah.
Bwana Simon. Yes. Unafikiri kuna faida gani ya kuwekwa alama za mipaka katika nyanda za malisho kwa maana ya biko? Ina faida gani kwa wafugaji? Wakulima ama watu wengine? Kwa hiyo tayari ipo kisheria kutokana na mabiko ni yale yaliowekwa au alama zile zilizowekwa, kwa hiyo tuna uwezo wa kudai haki yetu kama wafugaji. Hey Neema Habari yako? Salama tu habari. Habari siku nyingi. Nzuri. Na unakuwa unachanga mifugo yako. Neema mambo. Unataka kwa saa hizi? Eh. Mambo mambo mambo. Asante sana. Tunaelekea hapo kwa mzee mzee Baraka pale kuongelea mambo mambo matatu kwa saa mambo yaliangapa. Habari habari habari. Angalia ni nini nipo kwenye gari. Kitendo hiki ni kitendo mbaya sana kwa hawa wakulima ambao wanafahamia maeneo tengefu na wanaleta janga mbaya sana kwa sababu kwanza unaharibu arizi alafu la pili malisho yatapungua kabisa lakini kiendelea na muna hii utakuwa na mgogoro mara kwa mara kwa sababu ngombe anashinda sehemu na hatuta sehemu ya, ya, ya kuchunga how can such conflicts be resolved One way is by improving land management, which helps communities organize and state their claim to the land. One approach introduced in these areas is participatory rangeland management. Kichumba and Nima are on their way to find out what this is all about. <laughs> Gusu joni ki ki pang pichoni ki wo gise ba tukun ki wo gise tukun mi tambe rongo na ne nyona ki kar rongo na ne ta nyoni ya pe ma ja ba la yo jar ki pije de ki karam bo lo ki pe pa ki go le keru tio susu to ki nyor ki ak pori te ni te su ki wo ne susu o ti ni ba ki tor ngala ma ta no ngen ne ta ta pi o mo ja ba la sarama ma ta ni ki kole ja o su te na ke pe te ja lo ku pe te ke pe ja ba go bo hi ja lam sne oni How does participatory rangeland management approach work? Participatory rangeland management is a step-by-step -step approach. First, communities jointly identify the land and resources that they use and any other areas where usage might lead to conflict. Second, a new inclusive council is established and a rangeland management plan is negotiated. Third, official land titles are applied for, the land is demarked and the rangeland management plan is implemented all governed by democratic principles, improving and securing rights to the land wherever necessary. Hali ya mifugo sasa hivi ni nzuri, wamekuwa na afya nzuri, hawakuwa na shida yoyote nikisirikana rawa na ding na galare na na darongo sasa baada huu mpango sasa kuingia ile mfutano imeisha watu sasa hivi wanakaa wakiwa kabisa wanajua kwamba eneo hili ni la kulishia eneo la kilimo iko kwingine na eneo la malisho iko kwingine mgogoro umeisha kwa hiyo mifugo yamepata nafasi yao ya kufugia majani yana yanaanza kuota vizuri kwa sababu hakuna mchanganyiko mashamba tumezogeza upande wao na mifugo yanapata nafasi kubwa sana ya kulishwa au ya kuchungwa kwa hiyo sasa hivi mifugo yamepata yamenenepa na maziwa mengi tunapata kwa hiyo sisi watoto na sisi wazazi wao tuna afya kwa sababu maziwa yameongezeka na ngombe yamenenepa kwa ajili ya majani tunaingia kwenye agenda nyingine ya uchaguzi kuchagua 
katika agenda hii tunaangalia kwamba kwenye hii nyanda ya malisho tunataka kuigawa sijui igawe katikati au tutoe nusu tutaanga ninyi ndio mtaangalia eneo la kianga, eneo la kiangazi iwe kubwa kidogo kwa sababu kiangazi haijulikani anaweza kunda muda mrefu Participatory rangeland management brings entire communities together, women, men, elders, youth, solving conflict, and making sure that the rangelands are rejuvenating and able to be restored. The word planet comes from planetai, meaning wandering, given that more than 50% of the Earth's terrestrial surface being rangelands. How can we restore this wandering star without including the nomads and their destiny? If even the Earth's remotest communities are seeing how the diversity of life on Earth is dying and conditions are changing from what they've always been, nobody can say that they didn't know that the climate crisis is underway. The first thing we need to grasp is that this situation is bigger than what we understand. Changes in the Earth are rapidly approaching in ways we have never faced before. Let us move forward, but with a different set of ideas than those that got us here. This tiny planet orbiting in space is home to all the life of which we know. Think about that. It takes courage to emotionally connect with this reality. Participatory rangeland management is one crucial key in restoring this planet's rangelands, returning rights to our Earth stewards, securing biodiversity, and opening up new futures. The health of the environment can be seen in a continued accumulation of organic matter. When no soils are exposed, biomass grows, and the cycle of life renews itself infinitely, enabling evolution to diversify and continue. Where human conflicts ease, peace returns, allowing people to proactively manage the land, educate themselves, and explore alternative sources of income that expand far beyond just the honey of the rangeland's pollinators. Mifugo yetu kwa sasa hastahili kuletwa huko kwa sababu kule eneo la Lengapa tuna maji mengi karibu na majani. Kipindi cha kiangazi 
mvua ikikata ndo tunaleta mifugo huko tunakuja kuonyesha huko kwa sababu maji kule nyumbani zinaisha karibu na maboma bwa hili ni haya maji ni mengi sana katika hili bwa kipindi cha kiangazi aise ngombe zetu hatatesek kitu kitakachotakiwa kifanyike watoto wangu baadaye wae waheshimisha mazuri tuendelee kufuga vizuri tuendelee kutunza mazingira yetu mazingira yakishaa kuwa na afya nzuri na si binadamu tutakuwa na afya nzuri the first two uh, communities in Kenya registered their community land under the new Community Land Act. So this has been a real milestone. Here I am improved biomass production, biodiversity, and restore rangeland. Let's scale up the same across the country. This is the only model in Tanzania we have by the moment. And it was effective. If communities are, are supported to effectively manage their rangelands and rehabilitate or cause to have rangelands uh, you know, regenerate effectively, it then means that we'll be responding to not only the conflict, but we'll also be responding to climate change. So nearly half of the Earth's land surface is classified as rangeland and the health and productivity of the land are directly critical to the livelihoods and cultures of more than 500 million people around the world, many of whom are indigenous peoples. We must be there to unlock their full potential, improve the sustainability and use of livestock as a multifunctional source of food security cultural identity and productive livelihoods, secure and protect the rights of local rangeland users and particularly of pastoralists 